By blessings Mashaya the 8th Parliament of Zimbabwe has come to a close with the advent of harmonized elections next year yet more than half of the 292 legislators only contribution to the National Assembly debates has been a deafening silence. MDCT Kavije President and Kuwait's Anna MP, Nelson Chamizar, our reporter, Blessings Mashaya, carried out a snap survey and revealed that a good number of MPs from across the political divide shied away from debates in Parliament. The Kairadzi North MP Robert Marquina and Kairadzi South Callisto Guarnet so make the grade for the worst performing MPs over the second session. In terms of playing both their oversight role over the executive, the constituencies have a lot in common, such as hunger but the pair was just disappointingly quiet. They literally did not say anything during their entire tenure of office. Zanu P.F. Highfield West MP Psychology Maisie Weezer and Epworth MP Zalera Makari are also in the same bracket with the above-mentioned duo despite being some of the brightest prospects from Zanu P.F. when they were elected in 2013. They are regarded as some brightest young legislators from the ruling party however they have performed dismally in Parliament, failing to make any contribution in the National Assembly. Mwenezi East's Jusbi Omar and Bakita West's Beauty Shiba the two ruling party MPs, who controversially won by-elections this year, proved they had nothing to offer in the National Assembly. They were only vocal during the time of the by-elections. Mondorongezi MP Mike Garver since his election in 2013, the legislator only made news over his court case in which he was being tried for firing a volley of bullets to scare a quarrelsome girlfriend at Kadoma Rainbow Hotel the previous year. He also found fame through his highly publicized divorce from wife Tendai. When Yika, a few years after the celebrity-like marriage, on the legislation side of things, Garva did not do much other than ask a few questions. St. Mary's MP Dixon Ungunai Tarusanga despite coming from the opposition MDC, which has contributed the most vibrant MPs that have pushed motions and taken ministers to task, mashing, to remained in the shadows. This is, despite the fact that his constituency had a lot of burning issues, such as land barons and poor service delivery. Zanu P.F. Shamva North MP Nicholas Goche and Sharagui North MP Francis and H.E.M.A. The former ministers choose to keep their mouths zipped in the National Assembly. This could probably be explained by the fact that they were once victims of the ZANU PF purges that saw the ouster of former Vice President Joyce Mujeru. Malik N. Como, the former radio personality, has disappointed many, especially those he represent in Incisor South. Without much contribution in the House, he has dismally failed to justify the noise and publicity that his election victory attracted in 2013. Others, there is a whole legion of other MPs who have largely remained anonymous, even in the very own constituencies. Very few people can remember names, such as Jeremiah Chi Wetu Marand Era East, Newton Kachapa Mudzi North, Ephraim Guanong Archivi Central, Martin Kumar Lolupain, Fele Limisuku and Keta, William. Mutomba Burera North, Batsare Pem Henei Mutare North, and Phineas Chiotaseki from an enormous list of other MPs who make up the National Assembly, the energetic MPs as usual, Nelson Chamiza, Innocent Ganesh, Swazwai Murisi and Tapi were Mashikada are linguistically adept having spent years perfecting the vocal talents in debating during the sessions of previous parliaments. Some of MPs who have been movers and debaters of motions regularly are Chagutu West MP Dexa and Yuna, the Chagutu West MP, perhaps, is proving to be one of the best and vocal MP from the ruling party. He has never shied away from any debate he has moved own motions and he has asked many a pertinent question to any minister without fear of favor. It is not surprising that for a legislator who represents a predominantly agriculture constituency, and Una's victims have been ministers who deal with mining activities. The former military man is certainly worth his salt. Mabvuk Utafera MP James Maradadi is easily the best thing MDC added to Parliament by debate performance, with his witty oratory antics and public appeal, which he earned during his days inside radio broadcasting and as MDC President Morgan Svangare's spokesman, Maradadi has 
managed to establish himself as one of the fiercest debaters in Parliament. Irene Zindi, a Mutasa South legislator has been one of the few positives of this Parliament. Fanyul Munengami, what a session he has had. The Glenview North MP has been a real revelation. He has not let his young age be a hindrance, and has been a constant contributor. He certainly has a bright political future. Bulawayo East MP Tabitha Kumalo, the sharp-tongued legislator has never disappointed all the time. She earned her self-ejection from the House once during this session after leading a rebellion against absent ministers in a protest that almost completely froze Parliament proceedings for the day. Gokwe Nembujiyar MP Justice Mayor Wadia Yeno the youthful Gokwe Nembujiyar legislator is one of the hyperactive MP. He has been famous for his popular bust-up with former local government saviour Kasuku where over unending controversies surrounding the community share ownership schemes the latter presided over during his tenure as indigenization minister. Priscilla Misaherabwa Mushonga she is one of the best female MP of the eight parliaments so far. Twice, she has paraded female underwear in parliament to support her argument. Once she paraded sanitary wear for women and once she almost exchanged blows with Wadia Yena, earning herself marching orders. Ms. Aherabwa Mushonga, a proportional representation legislator, has also introduced very controversial motions like that which seeks to empower women to register children in the maiden names and even raised a point of order with the Speaker that sexual harassment of female legislators within Parliament precincts was rampant. She is certainly to watch in the coming session. Joseph Chinatimba from the day that he was elected to represent Burera South. It was clear that this man would set the August House alight. He has been subject of ridicule and joke, even by fellow MPs, but nothing has stopped him from being as vocal as they come. Daily News